Listen, basis loaded, bottom of the ninth, moment of silence for everybody in this situation. This isn't right. Faculty members go to school to earn a living. They go to school because they are passionate. And yet these things happen. And they could have been prevented. Same thing with the students. 13 people were S. H-O-T, but follow the numbers. They got a tip from the FBI when he was 13. In this situation, he's S-H-O-T, 13 people. 13 is a very important Masonic number. And the thing about it is the FBI knew about him. They got a tip. Well, that's what the narrative was. But let me tell you, and it's sad to say, but it's time for us to homeschool because, see, Alex Jones talked about this and he got sued for a billion dollars. And what he said, I mean, it's literally happened today. I mean, the FBI, they know about this. They knew about this guy. They knew. And did you think that they locked him up? They should have locked him up at 13 or not. If you could prevent a life, why not take a situation like this serious? This could have been prevented. They're going, to charge, they're going to charge him at 14 as an adult, but they could have locked him up as an adult as well. But let me tell you guys something. They want this to happen so they could come and take your guns. This is not the first time, and this is not the last time. And when it's all said and done, Alex Jones, he talked about a, a similar situation like this, Sandy Hook. And guess what? He got sued for a billion dollars. And I believe Alex Jones is down with the movement, but I believe they sued him because they don't want you to understand what's really going on. And yes, all these guys, they just ran up and they look like random incels. That's the narrative. I believe that incels was also created as an agenda as well. But yeah, they sued this man right here on the screen for one billion dollars. Because he talked about the same thing that happened at Appalachian High School. They allowed us. This is allowed. It's the same way when they let people from Venezuela come in. This is allowed. This is what they want. And a lot of people, when they go to school, they trust that their kids are going to be safe. But this is not the case. Now, this is supposed to be the suspect right here. Colt Gray. Here we go again with these random names. Colt Gray. They knew about Colt Gray when he was 13 years old. And then a year later, he hit 13 people. So you're running around and you only hit 13. Job's over. We got 13 people. Do you see that Masonic number? Listen, when it's all said and done, you can't trust the educational system. I just made a video on my other channel about a teacher slamming a young, a 14-year-old head into the wall and he had to get six staples in his head. And then the day after, Appalachian State High School in Georgia, looks like a beautiful school. Now, everybody who attended that school, now all the parents of these victims and also of the kids that go to Appalachian State, everybody now will always remember this day. See, when situations happen, it, it, it doesn't really hit unless it hit close to home. So unless you got a family member that go to that school or unless you're from that school, a lot of people is not really going to feel the pain of the parents, especially of the victims. They're not going to feel the pain of the 13 people. They're not going to feel the pain of the student body. They're not going to feel the pain of the faculty members that lost two of theirs. A lot of people are not going to feel a pain because it's not close to home. I'll never forget, not to get off topic, but one time, St. Croix, they had a flood and my mother lost a house. Everybody else at that time in North Carolina, they didn't feel the pain because it didn't hit close to home. But listen, for Appalachian State, to everybody out there, I'm saying in this generation, homeschool your kids. Take your kids out of public school and homeschool your kids. Get your kids out of school because if anybody can just run in with an AR-15 and the FBI knows about them, get your kids out of school. Just homeschool your kids. It doesn't matter if they come out slow. You're the teacher. So if you pass them, that's all that matters. As long as you can count to $1,000, that's good enough. 
If you teach your kids what goes up must come down, that's gravity, that's enough for science. Homeschool your kids because nobody deserves, and I don't care what anybody else say, I'm using my platform to speak out. Nobody deserves this. It takes a lot to create a child. Nine months. Then you got to feed the child. Now the child is finally in high school and then some random guy could just come out of nowhere and take the life of your child. Make it make sense. Just because they're all in a shared space. Honestly, shared spaces are not safe places. And once in a while, I'll go out, like I said, not to get off topic, I'll do some food reviews, go out to a couple restaurants. But I mean, in this generation, you really got to keep your eyes wide open. You got to keep your head on a swivel because something is going on and there's a frequency and everybody's just running wild. Here the faculty, here's a faculty member and here's a young man that lost his life. This should have never happened. And for the family members, if you guys watch this video, if this make it, you all need to sue the school. You all need to sue the educational system because there needs to be some type, like they have fire alarm drills, they need to be some type of safety room at a school. Like I'm talking, like I'm talking real solutions. I'm not just making content to make content. We're coming up with real solutions. There must be some type of safe room where if anybody wants to come in any type of high school, middle school or elementary school, there needs to be some type of safe room where everybody could just get together and be safe and let the person that's out there with an AR-15 stand out there by himself looking like stuck on stupid till the cops come and you lock him up and still charge him as an adult with zero, ca with zero casualties. That's what it's all about. We got to be, listen, we need to be proactive. Pro being proactive is the only way to fight. If people come to a school and you hear gunshots, okay, everybody that still hasn't got hit yet, they need to know, get to the safe room, get to the safe room. No school has a safe room. And that's the problem because whoever that person running around the hall wants to hit, they get hit and people got to hide behind a desk. You think a desk could protect you? You think a chair could save you? Like, let's be serious. We need some type of safe room and have the other two victims, lady, she just paying the bills, doing what she got to do, living her life, and now she's no longer here. To the family members, my heart goes out to you. Because like I said, a lot of people, they don't feel things unless they hit close to home. No, forget that. You know, at the end of the day, if we leave this earth, let it be because we, you know, had our last breath. Let it be because of old age. Don't let it be because some person that they knew about was able to just come and take somebody life like a coward absolutely not absolutely not Appalachia state i don't even care if your kids if this video gets out i don't even care if your kids were not assaulted still need to see, sue the educational system everybody needs to sue when i mean everybody i mean everybody needs to sue because at the end of the day listen this is now trauma when i went to high school the worst thing I ever saw in high school, honestly, was somebody getting hit with a bat after a football game. And it didn't happen while school was in session. And I forgot one time they had a D.C. shooter on the loose, but it was in D.C. And we weren't in D.C., but everybody was looking out for any white van. But other than that, in high school, I never had to experience anything like this. Like I said, the only thing that I saw that was crazy was this dude getting hit with a bat. And that was at a football game. It wasn't while school was in session. So it's not fair that I grew up in a generation where we were able to go to elementary. We, well, I homeschooled till 13, but we were able to go to middle school with no problems other than a couple of slot boxings that turned into real fights. That was the only problem. And it's not fair that I was able to go to high school without having to experience this. But nowadays, since, you know, daddy government want to take the guns, I believe a lot of these shootings, I do believe, are stage. And it's crazy because they happen every year. Every year from Sandy Hook all the way till now, this is crazy. And I just want to say that, no, we need some type of prevention plan when situations like this happen that we can keep the kids safe because the kids are not safe. It's crazy. As a parent, you send your kids off to school, but your kids are not safe. And then when you get off work, you got to arrange funeral plans because your kids were not safe. Let it breathe.